Man, I wonder who we're having as our third grade teacher. Hey guys, Mr. Hanny is just putting up a newsletter on the wall that shows us who we're having as our third grade teacher. Come on. Well, we're all here. Mr. Honey should be here any minute now. Who do you think will be our third grade teacher? Well, I may not predict the future, but I want Mrs. Sweetwater to be our third grade teacher. I heard she's nice and can give out treats to her students. Treats? Did you say, treats? Oh yeah, I love treats. I can eat them almost every day. Oh yeah, well, I think I might even eat more treats than you. You want to bed? Sure. But only if we are enrolled in Mrs. Sweetwater's class. How about you Arthur? Who do you want as our third grade teacher? Well, I heard that Mrs. Fink is fun. I heard that she does something entertaining like music and dancing. Hey, I love music. I might even learn how to dance. So, I'll have to agree with you on that Arthur. Thank you. But I hope we don't get into Mr. Radburn's class. I may not know him, but many say he's not a good teacher for some particular reason. Yeah, I heard he compels students to do so many things that makes them lose confidence in class. Like demanding students to know the answer in any math problem. Oh gosh, is Mr. Haney. This is it. Well, what does it say? Arthur, we're in the rats class. Episode 1, Rumors Sprouting Everywhere. No, no, no. This can't be true. Francine, let me take a look. Fine then. Oh man, you're right. It's Ratburn. Well, we're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Boomed. Well, what do we do now? How about we ask Pernella? I heard she had Mr. Atburn, so she must know everything about him. Okay, let's go ask her. On with my friends. So, you guys said you want to know more of Mr. Redburn. Yes, so, do you know anything about him? Well, he eats nails for breakfast. What? That's disgusting, and painful. I never eat nails in my life. Oh, it's true. And he has it without milk, and make sure you don't get any questions wrong, or he'll send you to death row. Death row? Oh no. That's not good. He is also a weird vampire. With a dangerous demonic power. Oh man. That's worse than we thought. It is. Well, good luck. You need it. Well, this is it. Get ready to face this type of risky situation. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Grade 3. My name is Mr. Ratburn. Good morning 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 Mr. Ratburn. Now, in today's class, you will work on a math pop quiz that shows all of the things you remember from second grade. So get to work everyone. 
All right, everyone, line up in alphabetical order. Quietly. Arthur Reed, why are you not standing in your alphabetical position? Well, I, uh, 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 well, I, uh, uh, uh. Never mind that. I want you to get behind the brain, because that's where you belong in the line. Yes, Mr. Ratburn. That's better. Okay, everyone. I'll see you the next day of school. Class dismiss. Boy Ratburn is tough. I know. He's even given us homework on the first day. I'm really starting to feel uncomfortable about this new teacher. Sometimes I wonder if Pernella was telling the truth about Mr. Ratburn. Well, we have taken the math pop quiz from his class. And it was about everything we learned from second grade. Let's just hope that we won't mess up in his class, because I just don't want to live in death row by a teacher who is vicious to us. Okay, well, I better go home and study. How about we'll meet after school tomorrow? Okay, we'll do that. Bye. Bye. Airpis 02, Investigating Mr. Reckborn. Man, all this homework is making me sleepy. I've just finished 300 questions of elementary algebra. I can't imagine how any student can do all this in one day. Hello. Oh. Hi Buster. How's it going? I've just finished my homework. Do you have any idea how tricky this is? Oh, that, well, I finished my homework too. I can empathize with you because it took me seven hours to complete it. Hey Arthur, what do you say we hang out after school for a while tomorrow? Sure, I need to get my mind settled for fun anyway. Great. Well, I got to go to bed now. See you tomorrow. You too, bye. Well, looks like it's time for me to go to bed now. Hi Arthur. Hi Buster. Have you finished your homework? Of course I did. You and I were on the phone last night, and I told you that I have finished my homework. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, that was the school bell. Let's get to class before Mr. Ratburn screams at us. Alright Arthur, let's get going. Man, another day with Mr. Ratburn. This is a total nightmare to me. Boy, you can say that again. Good morning, everyone. It's so nice to see all of you again. I hope you have finished your homework which is due today. Please, take out your homework. Excellent. I'm so glad you all have finished your homework. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Well, uh, uh, uh. Glad to hear it. Now I'm going to come around and collect your homework. Alright class, today we will talk about how our brain can affect our mindset. We will begin this lesson through psychology. What? Psychology? Isn't a bit too early to learn about this subject? No. It's never too early to learn about psychology. Now be quiet and stop interrupting me. Yes Mr. Regburn, I'm sorry. Fine then. But there will be more consequences for being disobedient, and interrupting someone is one of them. So don't do that again. Alright class, let's begin. And that in short is how our brain affects our mindset. Now, I have another assignment for you. I want you to create a psychology project of your brain and show how it works. Class dismiss. Man, I can't believe we have to do a psychology project on our mindset. We already had done much work yesterday from the 300 math problems, and now he's putting more pressure on us. We can see that. Well, let's go hang out at the sugar bowl. That's a good idea. Come on. Hello, this is Mr. Ratburn. Yes, I have all the eyes I need. But I am completely out of heads, 
I need heads. Hey, it's Mr. Radburn. I wonder what he's up to. Well, only one way to find out. Come on, we're going in, but sneakily. Well, I can wait on girls' heads, but I must have boys' heads immediately. What? Fine then, I'll have to get these boy heads by myself. You people are wasting my time. Boy heads. Oh no, Arthur, we have boys' heads. We might be his target. I think you're right. He did say he want boy heads. Come on, let's get out of here before Mr. Ratburn comes back and have our heads. Man, this is bad. Mr. Ratburn is coming after our heads. Well, mostly boys' head that is as of now. We can tell. Looks like Pernella was right about this teacher all along. Oh come on. Don't tell me you believe in everything that Pernella told us. Well, we do. Didn't you see what he was doing? He wanted to get our heads. He is way beyond vampire. Well, Mr. Ratburn is not doing anything wrong. I mostly don't see why should we be afraid of someone who we don't even know of. Well, Buster and I are going to come after him and show him a piece of our minds. Well, I'm going home to do my project. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let me know if you find out anything about him. Okay, fine. Hold it right there Mr. Ratburn. What are you up to? Uh, can't talk. I'm busy. Bye. Hey, come back here you vampire. Go get him Arthur and Buster. Don't let him get away. Okay Mr. Ratburn. Let go of these boys' heads you got, and don't even think of doing anything bad to them, we'll tell their parents on you, and they will call the police on you. Hold on, what are you talking about? I didn't kill anyone. I have boys' heads that are made of wood, and I even have the parts of the body made of wood. I like to do puppet shows. Well if that's true, then show us what's inside that suitcase you're holding. Oh, you're right. We're really sorry we suspect you're a killer. You see, Pernella tells us everything about you, and she told us you are like a vampire. Oh, that Pernella. She had me last year. She has a habit of making up stories that would have students be afraid of me. But, I'm not that type of person. Well, we can see that. And it was a big misunderstanding that we got. And boy were we wrong. Well, I got to go. I'm about to be late. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh, and by the way, I can't wait to see your psychology projects tomorrow. <laughs> oh man, I just like it when my students react like that sometimes. It's so funny, and makes them do their homework very quickly. Well, I better go before I'm going to be late. Erpus 03, Hematemesis. Ah, that was great. The kids really like my puppet show. But now, I feel bored. I have nothing to do in the remaining hours of this new day. I wonder if there is something new on TV. TV, turn on. Are you getting bored of doing nothing? Well, kind of. Do you wish you can try something that you never done before? Well, of course. Well, if your answer is yes to all of the questions asked, then how about you try one of our new mushrooms on sale, the Deadly Angel. It is full of mysteries, such as, new flavor, new texture, and most importantly, a new way of bringing nutrition in your body. The question remaining is, are you interested in trying this new product? Why, yes I am, but where do I get it, and how much does it cost? Get the new Deadly Angel only available on the grocery store supermarket. It only cost $1 for each mushroom. It's on special. Come and purchase it quickly before time runs out. Aw oh man, I just got to get some mushrooms.
I always like to try new food, and now I would like to try these products as well. I better get going. Ah, here it is. The new Deadly Angel Mushrooms. I think I'll take three. Now I have to pay them. Hello, I would like to purchase these mushrooms please. Hey, these are the Deadly Angel Mushrooms. Are you sure you want to purchase them? They may be good, but it could harm you in some way. Yes, yes I am sure. How bad can these mushrooms be for me? Well okay, but be careful. The total cost is three dollars. Here's three dollars. Thank you, please take your mushrooms. Man, I feel so sorry for that man, my cousin had one of these mushrooms once, and they were so poison, that he passed out. I hope that man would be aware of that someday. Ah, this is great, I got these mushrooms, now I'm going to try one, and see how good it is. Hey, this is delicious. As a matter of fact, I'll eat the rest of them. Man these are so good. But that's enough now. I feel full, that I got to lie down. Ah, that was a good rest, but now I must get ready for school. I hope the class has already done their psychology projects. Boy, I feel so tired. I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning just to see if my psychology project was really complete, because knowing Mr. Atburn, he hates incomplete assignments. Buster and I finished our projects as well after our investigation of Mr. Atburn. Oh yeah, that reminds me, what did you find out about Mr. Ratburn? Well, uh, he actually wasn't a murderer or a vampire as we've seen it, he was just having heads and other parts of the body made of wood for his papa show. He also knows how much Pernella likes to make up stories about him to other students who are going to have him just to make them scared of him. So he isn't a monster after all. That's how we saw it. Oh gosh, Mr. Radburn is coming. Everyone remain calm and smile at him. Good morning class. It's so great to see all of the smiles on your faces. I hope that you all of you have finished your psychology projects because all of you are presenting today. So let's get started. Wow! I'm really impressed by all of your presentations. But now, it is time to move on to the next part of today's agenda. Alright class, we are now going to begin a lesson of how to identify fractions and how to convert it to a decimal and a percent. Cough cough, sorry, I have a tickle in my throat, but let's get started. Now, how do you, cough, cough, cough. I don't feel so good. Oh my gosh, Mr. Radburn has died. This is a travesty. But how can this be? Oh my gosh, what happened? Well, Mr. Ratburn was just teaching us lessons in school as always, but then, he started vomiting in his classroom. The curiosity is that it's blood, not vomit from food or drinks. Oh man, this is bad. Students, I'm going to have you be dismissed early today, while I'm going to take Mr. Ratburn to the hospital. So class, go home. So Arthur, how was school today? Scary. Mr. Ratburn has died. What? How did that happen? Well, he was coughing, and then he vomit blood in class instead of vomit that comes from food and drinks digested. Yikes, that sounds scary. It is, I just hope he's okay. Well Arthur, we feel the same way as you are about Mr. Ratburn. Let's just hope the doctor is doing something to help him. Okay mom. Episode 4 Mr. Ratburn's vision. Hey Mr. Hanny, can you come here please? 
Well, how is Mr. Ratburn doing? Well, according to our records, Mr. Ratburn is suffering in a symptom known as hematemesis. Hematemesis? What's that? You mean, you never heard of hematemesis before? Well, to be honest with you, not really, so what is it? It's a dangerous symptom that causes people to vomit blood after having food poisoning from any type of products that could be old by date, or old by its texture and ingredients. So, you're telling me that Mr. Ratburn has food poisoning? Yes, because as other doctors were using x-rays in the examination, they found three products that causes all of the trouble, and they are, the three deadly angel mushrooms. So right now, we're doing surgery on him. You are going to have to wait for the next 10 minutes until he's better. Okay. Don't worry Mr. Adburn. We'll do our best to have you all better in a jiffy. Just relax. Mr. Ragburn. 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 Who? 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 Who are you? Hello, I am, that I am. That you are? What do you mean? I am the one who came from above the world in my father's kingdom. Oh, I kind of get it now. And who's that? This is you as the spirit. Hello. So, what do you want from me? We are here to give you a simple message for what you need to do to be a better person. You may even become a better teacher. Well, how can I be a better person? Mr. Ratburn, many students in your class are afraid because of how you're making them work hard and giving them too much pressure. Well, isn't that what I'm supposed to do? You still have to give assignments. That's a fact that cannot be denied. But you cannot bring pressure to students like that. But, 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 but if I don't do it, how can students take me seriously? As a matter of fact, how can they take education seriously? But they can, and you will have to not bring pressure among yourself thinking that you need to be some type of person and character in order to make yourself a better teacher. So here is our advice to you. I, Jesus, and you, as a spirit, will tell you that you need to show something entertaining about yourself. Even show who you really are as a person. You, you really think this will work? Yes. yes. Well, okay, I'll do it. Good. Now, by my name, we will have you changed from what you think you are, to who you really are. And be prepared to show the real you to your students. There, now you're all changed. Now go. And may that grace of my name be with you. Thank you. Mr. Ratburn. You're okay. Oh that's excellent. Hey. Mr. Hanny. You can come now. OMG. Mr. Ratburn. You're alive. Oh what a miracle. Well, I'm okay. What happened? I'll tell you later now that we're leaving. Thank you doctor. You're welcome Mr. Hanny. So let me get this straight, those deadly angel mushrooms that I purchased were poison and they almost made me dead? Yes, but thank god you're okay. Now how about we go and tell the others the good news? And how about you tell me what happened in surgery? Oh, okay, come on, let's go. Airpis 05, Forgiveness or Consequences So let me get this straight. You had a vision of yourself getting a message of how you can be a better teacher, and so you're going to do these changes? Yes. I told you before like 10 times as we were telling others the good news of me alive. Wow. I never knew that. Yes, and there is one person left to take care of that caused all of the damage to my teacher reputation. Like who? Well, I'll tell you when we'll go to the supermarket and ask them about who made the deadly angel mushrooms. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Um, excuse me, 
I have a question. Who created these deadly angel mushrooms? Oh, well, I didn't know anyone would ask this particular question. Even though I'm sweeping the floor, allow me to tell you who made it. Is these two girls, one who is kind of like a fourth grade student, and one who looks like a teenager, and they're both rats like you. Oh, rats you say, how interesting. Okay, thank you sir, and have a good day. You too, bye. So, can you please tell me what's going on? Well, that employee in the supermarket said that there are two rats who made these mushrooms. When I heard him say one looks like a fourth grader, that student looked familiar. Like who? Like Pernella, that's who. She might even had an accomplice by her side. Oh, I see what you mean. Say, I know what we can do. Tomorrow is a special event. It's when all grades in Lakewood Elementary are coming together for a celebration in an occasion of you being back to life. There are even a few guests coming along too. One of them said that they will be bringing a few mushrooms to the celebration. Really, what are they? What else? The deadly angel mushrooms. Oh, that is such genius Mr. Haney. Let's do that. Oh I can't wait to show those people a piece of my mind. Well, I better go home now. See you tomorrow. You too Mr. Haney. Oh, this is just so exciting. I'm so glad Mr. Ratburn is back to life. I also can't wait for the celebration to begin after school. I mostly can't wait to have some delicious food. I mostly think Mr. Ratburn deserves to come back to life. We will then learn who he is as a person. Oh, that's the school bell. It is time for class. Let's go. Good morning class. It's nice to see all of you again. We are going to do something different today. You are all going to make your own masterpieces in arts or crafts. Oh yeah, and a special bonus, there is a prize for the student with the spectacular masterpiece. So with no pressure, do your best on creating these masterpieces. A prize? Oh, that sounds exciting. It is. Now, let's begin. Wow. These are beautiful paintings I have ever seen, but, some of you are the winners of your own masterpiece. And the winners are... Oh, it's a tie. Arthur and the Brain are our winners. Please, come up to the front of the class. Now, because you two have won. I'm promoting you to the head of the celebration happening after school. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds like fun. I'm in. Are you Arthur? Yeah, I'm in too. Oh, excellent. Alright, class is going to be over shortly. So, as a special offering, I would like to dismiss the class early today. See you at the celebration. I can't believe you guys are the leaders of the celebration. Congratulations. I'm hoping this party goes great. Hey, is Pernella? I wonder what she is up to. Yeah, I say we follow her, come on. So, how's the surprise? Oh, it's going great. With more mushrooms, everyone will eat it and will feel ill. Pernella and Rubella. How dare you made these mushrooms and poison me, and are trying to poison everyone else in the celebration. That's it. Pernella, I hereby as your principal will expel you from school, and you will never take classes again. As for you Rubella, you are hereby banished from visiting this school, forever. Now get out of here right now. Oh yeah, and you're also expelled, Pernella, for having to ruin my teacher reputation with all your silly stories about me. Now both of you, get out. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had to run and get more food for the party, and so, here they are. And by the way, the guests are outside waiting to be entered. Excellent Binky. 
Now all we have to do is get rid of these mushrooms, and it's time to party in school. Man, this is great, I wouldn't miss one bit about this celebration. Stay cool everyone. And I say, it's a simple message, and it comes from the heart. Go oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. And I say, believe in yourself. Hey Nintendo fans, thank you for enjoying the season of Arthur. There was a lot of work I had to do in it, but it was worth it, and so much fun to make. No it wasn't. I can't believe we were expelled from coming into Lakewood Elementary. I'm also expelled from going to high school, and I was about to finish 12th grade. Well excuse me, I am the boss here, and you two have been the main antagonists of this season. And, I may not be a parent of you girls, but, because you two have tried to ruin Mr. Radburn's reputation as a teacher. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 13567895674835405403550234578 years. Go away right now. Yeah. There. I am glad that's done. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun and entertainment, and don't forget to have fun. Bye.